sister as well. Gotta keep trophies down at my mum's bit. Man, I'm getting way too big for my shelf. When I see bare MCs on the anatomy, you're getting way too old for the timeline. You're getting way too old for this. Should've looked after your kids. Get out the booth, go home to your son. It's never too late to commit. It's like man love, put my name in a random flat, get a blunt, and have to play the guitar. You're getting way too big for your yeah. boots. You're never too big for the boot. I got the big size clothes in my feet. Let's try this again. Hold, if it lasts again, man. This shit should be fuck. We need to have a serious talk with Madden, bro. I turned on the quality a little bit. What up, dog? Yeah, we know the song sucks. I can't control it. It's the Madden soundtrack. That junk whack. Like, the last game, that is not how I play. I'm like, I am not that horrible. I'm throwing a... I'm hitting, I'm hitting the pass buttons, and he's taking like eight seconds to throw the ball. By the time I throw the ball, I'm set every time. <laughs> he must be a Saints fan. Two teams will need their quarterbacks to step up and oh, man. On the gridiron today. It's oh. the Lions going up against Lord. the Saints. Mm. All right, Larry, thank you. We are down on the bayou as you get a look inside the Mercedes Benz Superdome in New Orleans. The setting in this dome just serves to amplify the excitement of the folks. In Nick Ballor. As their Saints burst from the tunnel a moment ago. The They're color set. rushes. And we're set as well as the Saints get ready to do battle with Matthew Stafford and the Detroit Lions. I could turn it off. I'm doing what the Lions do on every down drive, on every first play of the game. Run the ball right up the middle. And got stuck right up the middle like always. That's, that's why he's won the wall right there, though. You got to be Ryan's won the wall. If you want to win. Big boys lose. down there in the trenches and a you nice play lose. to stop him. You got me lying there. one on one. Yeah, when you talk about big boys, you talk about those defenses. Yeah, I call some bullshit. Tackles. They're not just big, they're immense. <laughs> and what a big time play there. This shit a little laggy too though. A little bit. That shit laggy. To throw on second down at Stanford. Now, I, I hit square like 10 sec, 10 minutes before. So, I seen Golden Tate open his hand. By the time he throw it, he wait till the nigga get close to him. That's what I be talking about, man. See? Y'all need to fix your leg, man. I bet y'all play Call of Duty, I get no problem out of this shit. It's only mad. Man, I mean, Call of Duty do lag too. But it ain't, it ain't this fucking terrible. This shit is unacceptable. I'm throwing to a man I see wide the fuck open, but yet he threw the ball 10 seconds after I pressed the button. The fuck kind of shit is this? I didn't even get a chance to throw it 6,000 times, let alone complete it this much. Yeah, not bad for a second round draft pick. Now Breeze throwing on second down. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? Maybe I should Here's the thing. get out one of the end of it. You probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position. Maybe I got too many things on the internet. I don't know. The throw is Breeze. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. 
But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. Yeah, and on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. And Lutz's kick is good. And the Saints are going to take a 3-0 lead. So after the pick, they can't capitalize for six, but they do get three. And I know in this situation, most of us wanted to focus on the offense. You know what side of the ball I played on. Let's give that defense a lot of credit. Taking it over in a sudden change situation and shutting them down. That's fielded in the end zone. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it. But Tony you Romo, you terrible. Too cautious because now terrible, you can't run bro. any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Try to shake off the uh. interception. He'll look to throw. Ebron caught left side. Now, let's see if this shit. It ain't lagging right this second. A good pick up there. Eight yards now, let's see how I truly play when it's not They're fucking really lagging. Get him into one -on -one opportunities. Let's see how I really play, for real. Because I'm not this fucking terrible. Who's gonna cover him? Corner, I'm sorry, safety, I'm not. Linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 45. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And you said madness is you lit. See it happen early in the game and they I ain't going to say it's lit. You can always but it's, tell it's, they were it's okay. It it's the only football game. choice we got. From my days, I remember being in college and wearing Damn, can you fucking block, you fucking dickhead? They had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. Damn. I tackled him on the Niggas forced you to throw the ball every fucking play. It was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball. I got no balance. Missed him? No balance. Long night. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Again, it's a duel. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. That's the only way I'll be able to move the ball. I got to throw the motherfucker all day. All day long. Just throw the fucking ball. You know, I don't want to. I have to. This shit lagging, dog. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. This shit lagging. From the gun, Stafford. I press on. Oh, what the fuck, man? Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I gotta get why those old school coaches. I press R1 like how long ago? Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. That shit is irritating, sides, man. Trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath, wondering whether it's gonna go good or bad for your team. Here now the putter Martin no sense, man. this one away. And I'm putting the ball fucked up. And this will be this down shit. just inside the 30 yard line. The I can't select the play correctly. It's lagging, dog. This, lag and and this, this shit. I don't think. They had the I talked down the call. He's still off, fucking lagging. They're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except and in I certain situations. And I touched on shit, man. Trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes after saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. And he is going to lose yardage here. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. Breeze to throw on second down. Oh, look at Thomas Wilder. Getting that connection is currently not sufficient to broadcast gameplay yards on the play. it's my connection man and when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose 
defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was I coming I can't from, adjust my play. Secondary target I can't fucking really nice do game. shit. And they'll get him to the ground, but he got all the way down to this the third line. like a bitch. The good pick up there at 22. For the first time with Alvin he gonna beat me and he'll take this with a city as a connection. The 29, maybe the 28 yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second Fuck and eight. That. I, I dare one of y'all to challenge me. And you gonna see how I really, how, how I really play. This shit is holding me back. I can't really do what I really can do. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. Madden three is not lit. Have been mm, completions. With this First and shitty goal. ass. Think on defense now. Shitty net, you have to shitty ass take a got chance. no connection. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. Gives it to the fullback. This is Kuhn. And he'll take this one down inside the five to the three. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Good solid gain on first down. About what you'd expect from the big guy. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. John Kuhn, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Saints now add six to their lead. Yeah, I'm playing, I'm playing on the PS4. We'll this is the fucking the problem. After. I can't play how I really play. The lag is holding me it's back big time. It's like, it's laggy as fuck. When I throw the, when I drop back and throw the ball, I hit the button, but the fucker don't throw the ball until, until the last second. Like on the last drive I was on. That's why I got batted out the air. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? Turnover, you just noted it on punt's the first better, drive. Punt's Bullshit. better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first that, I know how that shit lagging. Points. When I pick my plays, that's how you know it's lagging. It's lagging like a bitch. It is. Looking downfield for Jones. He couldn't quite Marvin Jones, you garbage. You is terrible. That's what I be talking well, I about. You is garbage. Is not you just drop that ball, game, man. Huh? Now they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot. You garbage. To his defense and don't drop that ball, man. You pathetic. Marvin Jones, you pathetic, bro. You garbage. You garbage on here. Now Stafford hands to Abdullah. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. A cook and be King, he, he the ghetto chef. I ain't the ghetto chef, bro. That dude, chef, ghetto, ghetto chef boy RD ass. I ain't the ghetto chef. Watch this shit lag. Rag my ass off. How you playing like shit? Have me playing like ass. He's up to the 45 yard line. Because he want to lag. A good shit. gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Hey, this shit. The connection better get it together, dog. Seriously. This shit need to get it together, bro. On first and 10, Stafford. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. 
Marvin Jones, you a, you a bitch. Marvin Jones, you garbage, bro. You terrible. You terrible. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I, I had 20 years to throw the ball. Tell you how many guys how you don't catch the ball before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Honestly, the defensive players are better receivers than your wide receivers. They catch more balls than your wide receivers do. They do. They just do. So after the INT, it's Breeze. You know you wouldn't get mad. Man. Come on, stop Trying it. to get it to Willie Sneed there. That was just stupid. And that'll bring up second down. Well, we got a little second here, so I want to give some week eight. Why does he franchise a lot of field goals made in the NFL this past he week? We had six guys more. Think he does. four or more. Well, let's call him out, and let's start with your friend from Georgia Tech. Oh, Harrison Bucker. I went like a week while playing this thing. Matt Prater, five for five. Kai four, bath four for four. Mike Nugent missed one, but he was still four for five. <laughs> Matt Bryant, four for four. <laughs> Steven Goskowski. Oh, he was the worst out of all of them. Four for six. Touchdown, New Orleans. Fuck this shit. Michael Thomas, 51 yards, and the Saints add on. To you know you live on the game, so if this shit come up on YouTube, you're gonna be exposed of being a faggot. Another one to the total. You know, it's funny. I just, just talked to his college head coach, and he told me that when Drew was a sophomore at Purdue, they weren't sure he was truly the starter, even though he started the opening game. And he made a play early in that one, where the coach got on the headset and told the rest of the staff, "Well, fellas." We found our quarterback. They had me running to a fucking sure kicker, and I stopped my man's dog. This shit is unacceptable, dog. This shit is crazy. I'm up to fucking lag. He's still good. Again, it's no good. A few boo birds first half. If he can just stop lagging for like the rest of this game, like I'll be straight. I'm gonna post my L. But when I do, I'm gonna say the connection was unacceptable. I ain't gonna say it was average or none of that and shit. It's, it's a short kick, taken right around the 19. And they're gonna have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the. I'm bored. Laggy ass game. <laughs> Nigga, fuck the Vikings. Fuck out of here. Nobody care about no bike long. You kidding me, bro? Come on, fuck the Lions. Fuck the Vikings. You said Madden servers are absolute fucking garbage. Trash. It is. These servers are terrible, no lie. Like, it lags so hard, dog. That, I don't know. The mic went close. It lags so hard, dog. It's a... This shit crazy how hard it lags. That's why I'm playing, like, crap. Like, when I throw the ball, he don't throw the ball until, like... Until, like, I get sacked. His connection better than mine. How the hell am I supposed to do anything if I'm lagging? Go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Caught right side, Tate. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. 23 yards on the play. Yeah, this game is unplayable. Like right now. This shit tough. He said... Y'all four and four. Y'all can't beat the y'all can't even beat the Saints, and y'all lost to us. So what's your whole point? <laughs> y'all took the L to us at y'all crib. So what's your point? What's your whole purpose? Y'all lost to us at y'all crib. White clowns ain't shit. They ain't gonna do shit. I ain't scared of bum water. You think I'm really scared of Teddy Bridgewater, dog? You gotta be serious. but not before they're inside the 25. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Come on, we four and four. Y'all need, a game, y all need a, a game and a half ahead of us. Anyway. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Don't worry, because you Vikings, y'all about to start taking L's. 
Very soon. Very soon, dog. Yeah, he got me that time. I know why. He's not lagging at the second. He's not lagging. I can actually throw the fucking ball. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here. I can actually play like how I really play. Time. Instead of shit lagging like a bitch. Lions are ass. Lions are ass. When was the last time y'all went to the Super Bowl? The same. Okay. When the last time y'all won the Super Bowl, motherfucker? Never. Just like us. Never. Y'all never won shit. Y'all went to three Super Bowls and took all three L's. In the 70s the of all time. A second timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Y'all have like talking about when the last time we went to the Super Bowl. The Vikings ain't won the Super Bowl. Y'all got the same amount of rings as we do. Zero. Y'all got no rings. You Let's can't even talk shit. Defensive back here on third on the field. Could they blitz? To the air again, Stafford. Ah, he got me. Now that was a good play. He got me. The other two picks were some BS, but that one was legit. Man, I'm tired of this crap. I gotta throw down field, man. That's your little dink and dunk shit. That shit dead. Dink and dunk my ass. It's gonna be a test of pride now. Forget speeches, forget adjustments. But that, what pride do they have? I don't know if that was a good half. play or, so or what, but I threw the ball. I timed that ball perfectly. I don't know what happened. It's a short kick, taking it to 15. And they're gonna start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Bob been so down like this before. Oh, here we go with the last shit. Here we go. Right here now. we go. And frankly, I think it's time it's to bullshit. call your playmakers together and say, Bagging All right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So Man, fuck the Vice Rounds, bro. Not necessarily what you're looking for. the Vice Rounds. defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Now, Stafford, a dump off for Abdullah. Mm -hmm. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A very solid gain of 27. Don't fuck the lag on me. Don't start lagging on some gay shit. On some gay shit started. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. <laughs> Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Stafford. This is screen to That's a goal. terrible block. Yeah, he went back Lord. He'll be down at the third. Damn, y'all suck. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. I'm telling you, you can stop the Lions. Y'all can stop the Lions. He'll be like six motherfuckers blocking, and one motherfucker be out there, and he still can't. Y'all still can't block the fucker. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. Man, oh my God. The gun, Stafford. Looking downfield for Jones. Ah! You bastard! You trash! That was a touchdown, man. That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. Yeah, that's right. Blitz. I dare you. Throwing on third down. Uh-uh, uh-uh, I, I like that, I like that, I like that play, I just, I threw it faster than I want to because of the damn lag. Rick 
Wagner, you suck, man. Rick Wagner, you terrible, bro. In there to get him for what will be a loss of 13 yards. I'm going to put this in 320p, dog. This shit terrible. It's like when I throw the ball, I can't throw when I want to. I think I'm slow. Slowly. Now Breeze to try again after the pick six. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. And this offense gonna elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is I bet you I turn off the broadcast, I start this busting his half. ass. I bet y'all start busting his ass. The final shot before half for Breeze. That nigga not cold for real. On deep left side here. A 50-50 ball here and it's intercepted. Never lost him with a pick. Never so lost him would never catch a ball like that in life. Charles and I return after the break. I'm asking Madden. I'm actually not though. It does lag though. It's lag like a bitch. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. of seven on second down here's breeze and it's caught kobe flaner and he'll be taken down just shy of the 40. a good pick up there of 20 yards and after that completion you can understand why so many teams in the league are he said lions will go in every position you said well go correct your english down. boy if you can't run with he said five and eleven you drunk as hell every time. This is i can't wait till 10. i can't wait till we bust your ass on thanksgiving i'll make you look fucking retarded we're gonna make you look stupid for even saying that dumb ass shit to close the game out Y'all really wish y'all really benefit your team right now. Now Breeze throwing on second down. Caught by Snead over the middle. And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20. And that one results in 35 yards. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Breeze hands to Ingram. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Yeah! See if they stay on the ground for second down. Watch out for the run. Ingram again. I said, watch out for the damn run. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop mm -hmm. them. So it'll be first down here after the run. <laughs> They'll run here with Ingram. 
And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. He lost four there, and it's third down. To say they've kept him under wraps running the football, that, that's an understatement. He's been completely neutral. And he'll take Paul it Walla, what in the zone fuck? for the Saints touchdown. You don't tackle Mark when I have to hit the button to tackle. Six-yard touchdown. That's run. insane. Bro. And the Saints now add six to their lead. I'm about to lose. Able to punch it in on I'm third take down. My it makes it easier for those guys on the side. Bomb is a down big down ass asterisk. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead, as all the good coaching staffs do, anticipating mm -hmm. what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. So we get a look at the Lions' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Flush to his right. Mm -hmm. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Craig Robertson. From his outside linebacker spot, he gets him down here. That's the slowest huddle four. I ever seen. Now here's a whistle as flags come in, and we'll check out the call. False start, you bastard! Everybody, nobody jump but the damn offense. Of course, not a connection want to get better and shit when I'm down fucking twenty nine points. But when I when it's zero zero, that shit fucking up. The Lions on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and fifteen. From the gun, here's Stafford. It's caught. Jones. He's at the forty. Pass the twenty. Ten. Touchdown, Detroit. T.J. Jones, 85 yards. And the Lions are able to draw a bit closer. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Martin, the Damn that kick lag like away. a bitch. Shit. Camara now to return. Ain't going nowhere. And he'll take this one near the 25. Call it the 26 yard line. Back out onto the field. Yeah, it was a nice touchdown. Thanks, offense. though. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that, that dude retarded whoever in the comments says he's trying to troll he fell in at it too their own territory why would you change anything they've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so because yeah, the secondary they really look clueless and that was amazing because that drive went and went no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away they hold him to only two there on the screen it's second down they completed the screen, but one of the things you worry about is can the quarterback get rid of the ball before he's actually tackled. So your offensive linemen have to hold up the rush. This shit, Ashaw. Because you want to make sure you keep your guy's jersey clean throughout the game. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Back now here live in New Orleans. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. It's lagging, just me picking plays is lagging. So following the run, we'll see what they do here on third down. 
to throw. It's Breeze. Catch here, left side. Never lost to you, so dick, bro. You suck. How the hell you don't come? How the hell you don't bat that out the air? That's how you know. That's how you know you ain't got no awareness, dog. That's how you know you suck. That should have been bad out the air. Lawson, you garbage. You terrible. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Good gain there on first down. It keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. That's Stays all it is in the comment section. Nothing but trolls. They are in charge of Nothing but trolls. Right now, they want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Come on. Again, they'll run with Ingram. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. If I lose, at least put up a fucking fight. Brand, this clearly a running situation. But his last shit is dead, dog. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Watch out for Willie Sneed. Watch out for Sneed. Get that nigga. Get him. Ginn's got it. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Breeze to another longtime vet Ginn for the New Orleans first. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence? And they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. They run from the pistol with Ingram. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Breeze finding Fleener for New Orleans first. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. Man, fuck, right, it's Fuck the fight clown. Fuck the Packers. Fuck the Bears. Fuck all y'all. No, it's garbage. It anyway. 3 1 3 pride, motherfucker. I'm not losing my next game, dog. If it don't lag, of course. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. Wrap up garbage time. Of course, the, like I said, of course the connection will get better towards the end of the fucking game. It ain't lagging as much. Now a handoff to Ingram. I'm about to win the next game, bro. I'm sorry. I gotta play again. I'm about to show y'all what I'm really about. I'm about to show y'all. I'm about to show y'all what I'm really, really, really capable of, dog. Next game, I'm about to show y'all what I'm really about. This is not the real. This is not the real me playing at all. This is not the real me. Nigga, lag. Lag was at least 20 of his fucking points. Lag, all lag. But when they were unable to, I, I think you're exactly right. You can see them sag on their sideline. I think this one might just be over. And Detroit getting set to go now. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play 
and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. On first down at Stafford. It's brought in left side by Tate. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 more on that one, and another first down. On first and 10, Stafford. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Back to the air. Stafford on second down. To the right side to Eric Ebron. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. And they'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Oh, a hit. He lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. A lost opportunity. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Oh, my Lord. Can I... Change my fucking plays. Shit. Gotta try it here. He's back to throw. That's to his running back complete. But they're gonna wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it'll oh, be a turnover on motherfucking down. lag. All lag, bro. All leg. All fucking leg. Bree's gonna throw here. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Jared Davis in there to make the sack on what will be the final. We about to watch in this ball. Watch one more game of me. We about to see when the schedule comes out all if it don't lag on me we about to see what I'm really really capable of you about to see next game because that shit that's not the real me at all that lag is shit is no very good about that victory I could have easily had 30 points in this game easily I don't want to see none of these plays. None of them. They force you to watch this shit too. That's why I hate about Madden. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Saints are winners here as we say so long from New Orleans. Okay. Damn. Let me go. Shit. <laughs> Damn. Man, I need to get better at that, man. For real. Mm -hmm. 
gonna play one more time with the Lions. We're about to play one more time. He said, fuck the... Yeah, I know. My connection is terrible. It was terrible when I was streaming this shit for YouTube. Can't stream that shit correctly. Oh hell no! You picked the, the Patriots. Oh the hell no! As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today, trying to push their team to victory. It's Brady's Patriots going up against Stafford's Lions. All right, Larry. EA Sports coverage of the NFL sends us to the state of Michigan. <laughs> as we are inside Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Time yeah, my. <laughs> And of course, the loudest cheers were. I hope this stream don't go bad. Lions, they're set to go as they will match up with the New England Patriots. And he'll get across the 20 before he's. This stream is terrible. At about the 23 yard line. They need to get together. PlayStation need to get it together, dog. Mad need to get it together. The D. Incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Tate, a very talented wideout, but this one, it'll be no cakewalk. He's going to be shaded by Stephon Gilmore, as we know, Charles. That's not an easy prospect. And no, that's not an easy prospect at all, because Stephon Gilmore's got everything you're looking for in an elite cornerback: the speed, the agility, the size. So when you think about having to run routes Damn. against him all game long, Crash line. <laughs> you're in for a battle all the way through. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Stafford now to throw. This is Reddick on the screen. And down he'll go at the 25. Well contained there defensively. The screen gets only a I wasn't even going to go for it. And but. it's fourth. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. A little desperate. The third down play was. Damn. Nowhere to escape and he goes down. Rick Wagner is terrible, Smash. man. I hate Rick Wagner. He, he played like the worst offensive lineman on the team. Every time I drop back, I'm on pressure on the right side. Very good field position. Okay, next side in that position, I'm punting it. <laughs> Touchdown. 
That was luck. That was straight luck. That was luck. It just puts way too much stress on guys trying to cover downfield because, as you said, you that much. That was luck. That was straight luck. Everybody covered well. Everybody covered well. He just he just bossed them. That's all. That's fielded in the end zone. He'll get it up to about the well, I don't like Dwayne Washington, man. I don't like him as my return. He's so too slow. He's there. When I use Adnew, it seems like he, it's much smoother when I run. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. And That's what happens when you're too aggressive. <laughs> down there. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Yeah, it's a lag and just me picking plays. They didn't just just them, picking plays, it lags. Gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to run back. Hmm. Get his ass. Right side tape. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of eleven yards that time and it produces a new set of downs. This might be Super Bowl preview all we know. Down. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A good pick up there, 22. And now a first down following that long game. A handoff to Abdullah. Down inside the 15, he goes. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done <laughs> that here in the first quarter. From the red zone now, Stafford. Touchdown. Touchdown, Detroit. Golden Tate, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, mm -hmm. they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and hmm. up to the 27 yard line. Patriots set to take over again on offense. You know, something you and I have discussed a lot is the way that they use their running backs in different ways out of the backfield, passing it to them. And they did that very effectively last weekend that went over the Chargers 21 to 13. Yeah, they utilized them to neutralize that pass rush of the Chargers, Patriots, which is one of the fiercest ones in the league here in the early going. So instead of keeping him in to just block and try and protect Tom Brady, get him out of the backfield. Ah, I said it just block. I said it just went for the tackle. Throw the ball to him. I mean, Rex Burkhead, James White, Deion Lewis, they had nine catches for 120 yards in the first half when they set the tone. Ended up 14 for 163 overall. Very nice game plan by New England yet again. Get him. Yeah, tackle the motherfucker. Inside the 40 to the third. I let him roll all on the ground. Yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. That was a good strong run there. While it won't pick up a first down, it was definitely something needed by that offense. I just give it a yard away. Good push by their guys up front. I didn't want to give up the big play. Build on as this game continues. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give them a new set of downs. On first and ten, here's Brady. And under the Lions pressure, he's brought down. Akeem Spence continuing to fight downfield. The big tackle gets him for a loss of 11. 
Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon hmm. Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession. Yeah, I can see your comment on oh, John Kay. But they face a second and long to start things out. I can see your comment. It ain't lagging. I can play this. I can actually play this shit. And a first hook up with his all pro tight end. That was a good throw. A good pick up there, a 22. And I put my first tally mark next to the Brady to Gronk counter here. I think it may be a first of many because once they get going, look out, things tend to snowball. He got the same play on me again. As much as any receiver I think he's thrown to in his career. And it's evident and that's that. saying something. That's saying something right there. But he's earned it. A really nice gain of 25 yards. They'll run for it with Deion Lewis. I see what kind of game this is going to be. High score. Patriot score. Deion Lewis. Probably high score game. in from a yard away. And the Patriots have taken the lead. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Come on. Goskowski now out to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. So the Lions offense ready to go back out onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. I'm going to take the smart play. They ain't the best play, but it was a smart play. At the 23 yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Here's Stafford now, on second down. This is screen to Abdullah. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24 yard line. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. How about that shuffle pass? Or if you want to call it the shovel pass, that's fine too. That's one of those plays that you can Damn, I didn't even get a chance. Tillman brings him down. Stafford is sacked. Cassius Marsh in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. So on fourth down, here's Sam Martin to punt it away for Detroit. Back deep, Danny Amendola for New England. Oh, yeah, it's lagging. It's lagging. It's lagging now. Oh, he will not go down. Have to retake those ankles. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Patriots take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Hoping now to get back in the end zone on this fourth possession. 18 big yards on that one. And a New England first down. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he... In a double coverage... You know, good and well, I was going to... I was going to count that shit eventually. Jared Davis. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside. This game probably boring. Which means you're going to lose the field position. The people that's watching. General rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs. And hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Getting out a ton of success here so far. But you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Oh my god, the lag is unbearable. What in the fuck? That one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. I I pressed as soon as I snapped the ball.
It's lagging. It's lagging for sure. This shit unbearable. I can't stream and play this shit again. An extra corner on the field for New England here on third down. Yeah, another DB. We well, not mad and they don't they don't get that shit correct. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Lag. That throw was a lag. Got I got a completion, but it was a lag. It's a pickup of 16 there that'll lead to a new set of downs. The down throw was a fucking lag. The method throw told me even sooner. Two minutes. We'll come back to Ford Field after this. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg and hit behind the lot. He lost the football. It's loose. But call it luck or skill, whatever. How the, the hell is a fumble is, and he threw it? Good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the there ain't no fumble. Calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. To throw on second down to Stanford. Oh, oh yeah, I can't do this, bro. I gotta turn this stream off. I can't do this shit. I can't do it. I gotta turn this stream off. Can't do it. This shit horrible. Oh, I'm really garbage? Okay. <laughs>